Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So uh, in today's video, I'm gonna go through my EDC uh, for July 2021. Previously, I actually did a video on uh, EDC as well. Uh, that was a while back, so I thought I'd give you guys an update, um, which is pretty cool. I like to do. Uh, do let me know if you like guys like this kind of videos. But um, yeah, recently I've been trying to go the minimalist road, trying to cut down on EDC, uh, some of the things that I actually have, and I wanted to, you know, just declutter my stuff and cut down on. Um, things right so yeah so yeah without further ado let me just go into the first item so in the very left side we have my my go-to uh, uh edc item which is the phone uh, i actually have to uh, bring two phones when i go out so um, one which is i'm using to record right now this video the samsung galaxy s10 I still do have my S10 and um, yeah, I'm actually looking to upgrade uh, sometime between October this year um, to the iPhone 12 mini. Uh, so stay tuned to that video, my thoughts and um, unboxing. And also a new Apple surprise may be coming up. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But uh, let's come back to this video. So recording with my S10 so I do bring that as well this is my actually my secondary phone the Poco M3 that I actually featured in the uh, previous videos uh, very very handy very lightweight phone I use it for some light gaming on the go some video watching uh, preferably some social media but um, not really active on social media so uh, mainly videos and uh, gaming but uh, yeah that's a pretty cool phone um, just double tap and you can see the time and everything battery line on this phone is pretty cool so um pretty good uh so cool yeah secondary phone so it's good to have a backup here okay so let's go to the second item uh the anchor 10,000 power core 10,000 pd i still have this power bank with me yes um i actually featured this product in the previous videos um, I actually still have it with me because it's so I really love this product by anchor right it's such a slim such a lightweight and such a nice power bank here and yeah it really can give you some boost to the juice when we are on the go right I actually see um, have chance across many different brands uh, when buying when searching for a power bank but I didn't see any other brands that actually make a power bank like Anchor did on this model especially so absolutely love it really really good uh, and handy little power bank here yeah and uh, yeah even comes with this mesh bag right to put you or accessories so I do have this uh, Mazer uh, local branded uh, cable uh, Angus cable was a bit expensive so I didn't go down that line so this major cable only cost me about nine dollars so a uh, um, pretty affordable one it's a uh, Qualcomm QC 4.0 some more and uh, it's braided pretty cool so I actually got that with this uh, power bank it actually comes with a cable but I didn't really use it uh, because you know it's pretty long and yeah, it was braided and yeah, it was pretty inconvenient. So I thought, why not just get a, se a separate one? Um, something like this one would do the job. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so next item. Next item that I newly added to my EDC would be this pair of sunglasses. Uh, why did I add the sunglasses? This one actually. Um, it's pretty interesting. I actually did not purchase this item, right? I found this somewhere in the closet and I thought, okay, it was sitting there for quite a while. So might as well add it to the EDC. So yeah, what I did was I just took it out and I began to uh, constantly wear it when I'm, when I'm outside. So yes, yeah, become a part 
of my EDC for God knows how long, but um, yeah, this one actually does not have any brand. I bought it some time back, actually it was a while back uh, in 2019 and year uh, when I was on, on a trip to Europe. Uh, yeah, and I bought it in one of those uh, convenience stores. Uh, no need to invest in a good one if this one still holds up. So, uh, yeah, why not just uh, use it and uh, see how it goes. Pretty cool little uh, sunglasses and um, yeah. So this one, new item to my EDC, sunglasses. And um, yeah, I still have my coin case, the Porter coin case. This one is a very, very handy coin case. I actually really love the design of this. Very classy, very modern, very stylish coin case from Porter. Uh, I use this to store my keys, um, you know, store some of my knives, EDC, uh, throw off, throw some coins inside. I also have some of uh, multi tools inside, uh, some small little items inside. So pretty cool, very handy uh, and lightweight, a bit heavy because of the, you know, the knife and um, the keys, but still very handy, very small, very compact and lightweight. Really love it. And it's been my, my EDC for, um, you know, for quite some time. Yeah, so the Porter coin case. Next item is still, this item, still my wallet. Yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, still using this wallet. Um, it's been holding up really well. Um, compact wallet. Um, store notes and some of my, I still have my Victoria Knox mounted tool inside. Uh, this one looks really nice. This is uh, actually not the uh, real leather, but um, I mean, there's no point in buying real leather if, because you know, it's just the material. If it holds up, it holds up. This one is actually a pretty budget wallet, but um, I mean, if it works well, it works well. Uh, and that's cool with me. So yeah. So yeah, this, this, has been my wallet for quite some time and always been in my EDC. I always carry this out and um, yeah, happy to be, uh, yeah, so the MYUK wallet. So let's go to the next item. So I actually replaced the previous item, which is my watch with this item. So I actually bought the um, G-Shock, as you guys know that I featured in my previous videos, I actually really love this watch. As you can see, it's taken some beading here. The glasses here is a bit tainted. Um, still looks pretty, pretty new, pretty cool. Uh, bought it a uh, while back, a few months back, but um, have been using it every day since. Really nice. Um, actually, why did I bought this is because the the previous one I showed in my uh, watch I showed in my EDC video actually took a bidding and as you know that normal Casio watches um, uh, you know it may get some scratches from beating and um, so this one is actually the G-Shock so that's raised uh, edges here so you see the screen does not really get uh, scratched easily and I really love the made black design of this watch so that's why I got it absolutely cool watch and a cool little the digital watch. And um, this one was on sale, really, really cheap price. I couldn't resist. I just copped it and um, have been wearing it ever since. Really love it. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the Kasha watch. Actually, in terms of watches, I do rotate uh, between a couple of different watches that uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys in the coming ED, uh, watch collection video if you guys are interested in those content comment down below and let me know uh, but yeah hopefully I will make one video about that uh, when I do get my watch collection but uh, yeah so far I think of all my watches I wore this the most because this one is really nice very low profile 
I could wear this with almost any occasion. Absolutely love it. Okay, so next item is the AirPods Pro. Now the AirPods Pro actually, uh, I I still have it, uh, you know, since last time. I was actually debating where to sell it or to keep it, but yeah, I decided to keep it because uh, it is actually um, the audio. Is, um, I decided to keep it. Um, uh, it was really convenient to use it. Actually, it is pretty cool to use. Um, yeah, and I'm getting my iPhone soon, so even better, I'm going to use this with the iPhone. I wanted to test the audio quality on these, so I decided to keep it for the time being. Um, yeah, so I've been using this uh, occasionally. You know, I've been bring every time I go out, I do bring it, especially with this carabiner, you can attach it to anything uh, you have with you. Uh, so it's really convenient and um, some good audio quality on the go. And yeah, absolutely love it. And um, really look forward to testing these with the iPhone, hopefully in the coming months. So yeah, AirPods Pro, as you guys know, this product is no introduction. I um, believe you have seen in many EDC videos. So let's move on to the last item. And last item is still this case, uh, this card holder as per the previous video. As you can see, it's taken some beating here and there, here and there. But uh, yeah, you guys know that this cut uh, actually is because this ladder is actually not really waterproof or sweatproof. So may have been, yeah, a bit rough with it, but uh, still holding up well, uh, surprisingly. Yeah, so it's still in my collection, uh, in my EDC, uh, yeah, for quite some time now. And since the last um, time I took it out and yeah, so here's been my EDC, this uh, C-Secure uh, card holder wallet. Uh, if you're looking at card holder though, I wouldn't really recommend it because, you know, the beating actually happened, you know, within a short while we got um, this kind of stains. So I was actually pretty disappointed, but um, yeah, you know what? Um, yeah, if you can, can find a cheaper one and better one, just get that and you'll be happy with it because this one is actually pretty expensive. Uh, but yeah, C-Secure card wallet. So that sums up today's video. Just a short one to let you guys, give you guys an update on my EDC uh, everyday carry. Trying to go the minimalist road, the um, minimalist EDC route. Um, I don't know if this is considered minimalist. Do let me let me know in the comments below if you guys think this is minimalist or not. Um, and if you'd like to see similar content, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.